Hello again. Today we're going to have a look at the Joby Gorilla Pod. This is the 1K kit. Now, this one doesn't have magnetic legs, but it does have the adjustable ball joint head at the top. And this is designed for cameras up to one kilogram. So lots of the small, um, smaller DSLRs, Canon M50, the Sony 6400, etc. They should be fine. Make sure you're not putting a, a very heavy lens on. Some of the, the L lenses for Canon cameras can be very, very heavy. So make sure that you're not doing anything silly. One kilogram isn't very much, don't forget. So even if you have something like the Canon 6D Mark II, which is about 650 grams, that would only allow you to have the 50 mil lens on. Anything more, and it's going to topple over. Right, so here's the ball joint head. It's all made from metal and aluminium. It's got a very nice adjuster. Nice and secure when you tighten it up. And the ball joint is also made of metal. The legs are nice. It's nice and tight because it's very new. They do, over time, the balls in the legs get a little bit loose, so you have to be aware of that. And don't buy the fake ones. You can probably find very cheap ones online, but they're not very good quality and they will let you down. This is the bigger 3K version. This one you can use heavier cameras on, but again, it's uh, only up to three kilograms, so you have to be wary of what load you put on it. Uh, I have used it with my 6D Mark II and the 5D Mark II as well, and they were using the smaller L lenses. So don't put a, a giant telephoto or it's going to fall over. This one has a removable head and a coin slot so you can tighten it onto the camera, and it has a level as well. This is probably the better one that they do. It's very nice, very reliable, but the smaller ones, you know, it's smaller, you can chuck it in your bag easier, and if you have a smaller camera like the M50, it's perfect. Okay, so moving on, I'll just show you, this is the, the little mini one, I've got another video on that. This one doesn't have the magnetic feet. The magnetic feet, I believe, are only when the, the tripods with the red feet. I think all of the ones with the red feet are indicating that they're magnetic. Uh, the bull head, it doesn't have a, a separate turning dial at the top for the, the quarter inch screw thread. This one, you can tip it in, much easier. It's got an aluminium bull head in this one, uh, so it's nice and loose, not sticky at all. The 1K has a, <coughs> sorry, it has a a painted or anodized shiny head which makes it a little bit more sticky uh, but again it is new so that paint will probably wear off just looking at this ball joint again I'm not sure it's possibly plastic um, I wouldn't have thought they'd have put a plastic one on but as long as it's the right plastic then it should be okay yeah, the, the top screw that usually you can screw to make the quarter inch screw a little bit um, less, you can't on this one. So it just turns with the ball joint. You can't turn this separately. It's just one, one fitted piece. It's got a metal thread on the top, but the rest of it does seem to be plastic. Unfortunately, I'm a little bit disappointed with the choice to use plastic as a ball joint. I thought it was aluminium to start with. Yeah, definitely plastic. You can hear the difference in the sounds there. Yeah, it's got the same same type of plastic as the, the balls on the legs. Never mind, it's only going to hold small cameras and probably mobile phones and things anyway, so it should be plenty for what I need. And uh, I'll remember to use the, the bigger one if I use heavier products. Right, so Joby 
as you know, they are very good products and I really do hope that you've enjoyed this video. See you next time.